welcome to Cafe Astro Athens. Over this cup of black coffee today, I'm going to discuss black hole formations and dark matter halos. Cheers. Now something to keep in mind, in the early universe there were a lot a lot of galaxy collisions, there was a lot of movement, a lot of turbulent assemblies of different things combining and colliding and, and, and just there was a lot of rapid movement, a lot of violent movement. And this usually will cause a lot of radiation. Now what I mean by radiation is a perfect example would be our sun. Our sun emits ultraviolet radiation. And when you have such a strong amount of radiation, it can prevent things like life from forming, for instance, if you're too close to it, like Mercury, Venus. But then you also can have radiation on a larger scale, like with galaxies. We have a lot of galaxies colliding. That is emitting so many stars, so many, so many uh, radiation being blown, stellar winds from all these different stars. And a lot of times it was thought and understood that black holes are not able to form under those conditions. Because black holes, which in order to survive, actually have to feed off of the stars that start to you know, accumulate around the event horizon. But if you're having so much rapid movement, then it, it wasn't really possible for a black hole to actually survive. However, these recent simulations show that in these types of circumstances, it is possible that not only did the black holes form through those dark matter halos, but they might have been sustained through all of this rapid crazy movement that was happening in our early violent universe. With a dark matter halo, dark matter halo, similar to what it sounds like. There's dark matter which is found in our universe, which has a very strong gravitational pull. However, it does not eliminate, illuminate any light, so you cannot actually detect it visually. You'd have to detect it through other types of wavelengths. And dark matter halo is exactly what it sounds like. It's a halo where this is found in the early universe. This is where galaxies will start to form. This is where now with new simulations we learn that black holes have formed from dark matter halos. The way that scientists actually did this was through something known as the Renaissance Simulator, which is in collaboration with the Blue Water Supercomputer. What they did was they did simulations of what the matter was just the, right after the Big Bang happened. We were able to measure what was around after the Big Bang. We were able to see light. Light's been traveling to us for 13.8 billion years. So at about 250 million years after the Big Bang, scientists were able to simulate what was actually happening. And they found these dark matter halos, these regions in space where dark matter coalesced to form a halo. And in this region, this is where galaxies start to form. You have lots of ga uh, gravity, you have lots of matter, and it can start to condense and it can collapse and galaxies can form. Well, these recent simulations actually showed that in some parts when they actually can zoom in, which by the way is using a really, really cool technique, they're able to zoom in and observe what's actually happening inside these dark matter halos. This is when they noticed that the dark matter, the matter itself, will fall under a gravitational potential where it's going to collapse under its own gravity and collapse into a black hole. And with a black hole having lots of gravity, it is going to be attracting all nearby material. And this is when things can start to accumulate around it, eventually forming a galaxy. The technique is known as adaptive mesh refinement. And this is how scientists were able to zoom in in the dark matter halos and actually observe what happened. These were some of the first black holes to have ever formed. So hopefully soon we'll be able to actually make these observations in addition to the simulations that were made mathematically. And they are withstanding, and this is a likely chance that this is how the first black holes in our universe formed. So this is very fascinating, and I think that everything we're studying, that we're learning when it comes to science and space exploration is only enhancing us here on Earth. It's a very exciting time for space, and I think that the more we can understand about space, the more we're gonna understand our place in the universe, how we got here, and also 
when you think about it, all this research we're, we're, that's being done on how these things formed, what happened in the early universe, this will only enhance our advancement in science and our evolution in technology and in everything. I mean, even in medical applications, there's an endless world of research, of science, of potential for us to really grow as a human species. Thank you guys so much for joining me at Cafe Astro Athens today. I hope you enjoyed your cup of coffee over today's discussion of black hole formations and dark matter halos. If you guys like this video, feel free to subscribe and also ling ring that little bell so that you actually can get some alerts. If you guys like to help contribute to the show, I do have a Patreon page, patreon.com slash astroathens. Till next time, cheers.